Hi, we are in the ancient city of Butrint, which is only 20 minutes away from Saranda. We came to visit it, we were here last time as well, and we came for a second time because we loved it that much. Oh my god, there was a bee! <laughs> yeah, okay. bees are following us. <laughs> so, you got the ticket for $10, guys. Um, this is a national park, it is full of history. This it is. was a part of the Roman Empire, and yeah. uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, one of the clubs they, they sent uh, the emperor, he was um, based here in Butrint. He's very, very nice, guys. One of the nicest drawings I've been in my life. But we will take you with us. <laughs> Luis knows so much about history. I mean, he reads a lot. Sometimes he even impresses me because there are stuff that I don't know about my own country. And I'm like, <gasps> How did you know that? <laughs> and I go on Google and find out and yeah, he's always right. <laughs> so we're going. Butrin is a time machine that takes you back to the ancient world of Illyrians, Greeks, Romans, Byzantines and Venetians. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is like a giant puzzle waiting to be solved, with layers upon layers of ruins, fortifications, temples, theaters and churches. As you wander through the ruins, you can almost hear the whispers of the past and feel the energy of the people who once lived here. You can imagine the gladiators fighting in the amphitheater, the priests chanting in the temple, and the merchants haggling in the agora. Butrin is not just a place to learn about history, but also a place to have fun and explore. You can climb to the top of the castle tower for a breathtaking view of the lake and the surrounding mountains, or take a boat ride to the nearby island of Samil, known for its crystal clear waters and sandy beaches. So, come and join us on this exciting adventure to Butrin Ruins, where the past meets the present and the beauty of nature merges with the grandeur of civilization. So you do have a map of the old city. This is where you start to walk. You can find the map in all kinds of languages, including English, Spanish, French, Italian. <laughs> we took one just so we don't get lost. Last time we went up to point 11. Now we have to go out to point 50 so we can visit the museum, which is included in the prize. <laughs> So the entire city of Butrin was dedicated to the god named Asclepius, never heard of it. Uh, it was the god of medicine for the Romans, so they dedicated the entire city to that god. Uh, not sure how many doctors they have in that time here, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> so originally when they built the city of Butrin, the Greeks are the ones who built a uh, butrine. It was the third century before Christ, so it's a very, very long time ago. <laughs> yeah, then after that, the Roman Empire, when they were conquered around, uh, they conquered the city and they kept the city. And then uh, in the Middle Ages, the city was abandoned due to a, an earthquake and yep. apparently destroyed everything. Yeah. Again, another earthquake destroying stuff. This is the amphitheater. Probably from here they had the shows. Uh, I don't know. Probably they came here to perform poetry or sing or like Monica dance. Yeah, not like that. No, 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 you can see here how the earthquake affected this area, especially right there in the seats. And also because of the earthquake, the city of Butrint was flooded in water. And you can see most of the parts are filled with water here. I thought that was because it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
Butrin is part of UNESCO and since 1992 <laughs> it has been part of UNESCO and it has been a protected area. So during the Roman Empire, the city was extended to the other side. From this from, part. Okay. Yeah, to this part here. And when we get in the in the um, before the entrance, there is a small ferry. You can take only two cars at a time to the other side of the river. Maybe yeah. maybe this part right here. Uh, believe it or not, there are people living there, and there is a piece of the um, of the old city still there. We'll show you later. This right here used to be the gym. And later it was transformed into a church. That's what it says here. What a downgrade. <laughs> so this right here was a villa. Yeah, only one resident used to live here. Probably the emperor. Yeah, probably the emperor or his son, because <laughs> this is massive, like, yeah. It goes all the way that way. Look at that. Yeah. With the, with the river on the other side. What a view. Just imagine the parties during that time. <laughs> that right there used to be... The merchant house where the women did the shopping and the groceries. <laughs> Yeah, can you imagine poor guy spending money there? <laughs> Hi, honey. I just sold three donkeys. Good. I need some clothes. <laughs> so this right here used to be the baptistery, and it's mo most like pavements. Can't see anything now, but uh, according to this, it used to look like that. It'd be amazing to see it in those days. Look at the details. And you see all the hearts in here and you can see all the animals in here hmm. interesting This used to be the Basilica, and it's one of my favorite buildings here. You can see the structure is so nice. And we made it to the top where the museum is. The walk was pretty intense. It was like around 10 minutes walking, but... <laughs> uh, no, climbing. It's like, climbing. Taking, yeah, it's like taking the stairs from the Empire State. <laughs> That's how steep they are. Luis cannot catch his breath. I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't sleep. That's why. So you can see it was pretty stiff and pretty hard to go all the way to the top. <laughs> So that's the ferry that it takes the cars. Now I can show you here properly. It's like a big truck right there. Uh, there is a rope in the middle from one side and then on the other side have three ropes. Uh, yeah, and then the two engines pull them. Interesting. 
So as I promised you guys, that's the other side of the island where Butlin was extended. You can hear the engine of the small ferry and this is the other building they have that it was showing in the map. And this is it for today, guys. I hope you really, really enjoy Asian city of Putrint. <laughs> exactly, as much as we do. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to like and share this video. Leave any comment below, guys. <laughs> we would love to hear from you, guys. This is an special from Albania, the lost gen in Europe. This is it for today, and ciao, ciao for now. now.